In this video, I'm gonna show you how to use a protogen model in Stable Diffusion to create amazing AI art. And remember, life is truly a gift. Make it count. Head over to image to image. And the first thing that we need to do is let's import our reference photo or image. And I'm gonna import this one of Leo Messi holding the World Cup trophy. And this is 640 by 640. And it's a quick cutout that I did in Photoshop, but it doesn't matter. Stable Diffusion can use this and generate an amazing AI art. Okay, let's go to my little cheat sheet here. And I'm gonna copy the prompts for the positive and the negative. And let's go down. Let's change the sampling method to DPM 2M Keras. The sampling steps, let's make it 30. The width and the height, let's make it 640 by 640 to match the original. The CFG scale, let's make it 17.5. And the denoising strength, let's make it 0.5. For the seed, I'm gonna lock it. I have a specific seed number. And for restore faces, I'm not going to enable it. I'm going to leave it disabled so I can show you how you can fix it with in paint. Okay, let's go up and let's hit generate and let's see what we get. This is pretty amazing. This is awesome. It's not perfect, but it's a really great starting point. And if we can compare it, the trophy is a little different and the hand here is a little different. And you can see here that this actually looks like the emblem for FC Barca. We'll fix it with InPaint. We'll make it the one for Argentina. And the eyes are okay. You can have a little more clarity and we'll fix it with InPaint as well. Now, I'm gonna show you Control Net. Let's go down to Control Net. And let's click on this arrow. At the moment, I can use two different Control Net models at the same time, harnessing the benefits of both. Now, I can have up to 10. I'm gonna show you how you can enable that. And that will be in the settings. We'll go down to control net. Go down to control net and it says multi control net. You can see that at the moment I have two. You can go all the way up to 10. If you make a change, just remember that you need to apply the settings and then reload the UI. Let's go back to image to image. Let's drop in the reference photo or image, and we need to enable. If you don't check this box, Control Net will not process. Now I'm gonna check this box for low VRAM. If you have less than eight gigabytes of VRAM, I recommend checking this. For the preprocessor, we'll be using Canny, and then for the model, we'll be using Canny. Now, if you decide to use another one, for example, depth, then you would go down to the model and select depth. But for this one, we'll stick with Canny. Now the weight is the influence of the model. Now zero means no influence at all. By default, it's at one and you can go up to two. So we'll leave it at one. And then for the canvas width and the height, let's match it. Let's make it 640 by 640. And we are ready to generate this. Let's hit generate. If you're using control net, you'll find that it'll take longer to generate an image. Let's take a look. The hands and the trophy is looking way much better. It's more aligned to the original photo, the reference. And the Canny model produces this edge detection, this outline silhouette of our image, and it forces the AI to stick to this composition or to this pose. Let's fix the eyes and this soccer logo emblem on the jersey. And we'll do that with InPaint. So let's send it to InPaint. And we went from image to image to InPaint. And here we have this brush that we can draw, we can undo. And we can also change the size. So what we'll do is we'll simply draw over the eyes. Just like that. And let's scroll down. 
Now we'll leave most of the options for in paint at the default values, the blur, the in paint mask will generate inside the area that we drew in paint, not mask will be outside the area that we drew. But in this case, we want an in paint mask. We'll leave it at original. And I believe whole picture is the default, but I'm going to select only mask. And what that will do is it'll generate this area at a higher resolution and then it'll scale it down and paste it back. Now let's go down to control net. We're going to disable control net. You can use it, but for this example, let's disable it and all these parameters. We'll just leave it at the settings that we currently have it. And we'll also leave the prompt exactly the same. Let's go and hit generate and let's see what we get. Let's take a look. Definitely the eyes are looking better. There's a little more detail. If you're still not happy, you can tweak the prompt and you can also tweak the parameters that we have here until you get the results that you're looking for. But for now, I think this is good for this lesson. We'll do one more. Let's send it back to InPaint and let's undo and we want to convert this this looks like fc barca and let's make it look like argentina let's go to our prompt and we need to change this and let's type in argentina soccer emblem again we'll leave these values where we currently have it Let's hit generate. Okay, let's take a look. It's looking a lot better. It's not perfect, but it resembles more of that Argentina soccer emblem. Again, you can tweak the parameters. You can tweak the prompt until you get the right look that you're going for. Now, last, we can send to extras. And here we can scale it up by four. We'll select ESRGAN4XAnime6B. Let's hit generate. Let's take a look. Yeah, and this is looking awesome, amazing. That is it for this video lesson. Hopefully it gives you a good starting point so you can start creating your own AI art with stable diffusion using the protogen model. Keep watching amigos in the next episode i'll show you my workflow to convert video to animation using stable diffusion 